Hello there, Sonic S24 here. And first of all, I'd like to say that I apologize for being away from YouTube for a long time. I kind of been a lot busy with work and a lot of real world situations and just a lot of things that I've pretty much been on, you know, on my plate lately. But anyway, I just like to say I'm back and I finally got my new computer, so I can help you with um, tutorials finally. So I ain't got to worry about no crappiness. All right, now. I owe this tutorial to somebody because I told them that I was going to help them, but then I just went away for a long time, and now I kind of owe it to them, so as far as I know, I'm going to do this real quick. Um, this tutorial is how to um, add a custom title screen and a, I think it's called a t custom tile set. Now, I'm going to say that tile sets I really don't know much about because I've never made a tile set because all the stuff I have has either been um, customized a little bit by me or download it from a website and I'll show you the website where I got the tile sets from go oh, away I don't want to see them I know it's all right anyway I'm going to show you how to create the um the t title screen first because that's the one I know how to do now first now you're going to need probably two programs one either being an image program such as Photoshop or whatever if you're comfortable with it what I choose is paint and you're going to need a program called IR Fan View now first we're going to look at paint real quick now, if you want to make your own custom picture for it, let's go ahead. But what I do is that I take other pictures that I have and just make them um, usable in the um, make them usable in the um, RPG Maker. So I'm gonna open up Paint real quick, and I may have to get used to this because this is the new Windows 7 because I'm used to using XP. So you have to hold on to file stutter a bit. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find a picture real quick. So I'm gonna see if I can find a good picture to use for it. Uh, let's take, let's try the shadow one for example. Oops, not that. Right. We know shadow went to start again, but we're just going to use this as a test. Alright, so we're going to keep the shadow image here for now. Now, if you don't know what to do, you can go to the RPG Maker's program files. If you go through the system program files, RPG Maker and RPG 2003, and just look for it, go look for the RTP file. This is where all the default. Um, RPG Maker files are put and go to uh, title. You now these have the default title screens on them. Now what we're looking for is the dimensions as it shows down here at the bottom right here 320 by 240 so that's what we gotta have and it's also a PNG file so we gotta keep that in mind. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see if I can resize this real quick I'm gonna see if we can get the whole image and keep the eye on the corner right there at the bottom, 320 by 240, that's what we want. I'm using a touchpad, so it's going to be a little hard, so hold on. Right. 240, 240, over, okay, that's size down. Now we got to get our area size up to 320 by 240. Oh, I see a little blackness. Let me see. Where's the zoom tool? Here it is. I see a little bit exposed here. Well, I'm not going to mess with it, so I'm just going to keep it as that. Alright, so we got it set as 320 by 240. So we're going to save this real quick. Ah, uh, dang it. If I could not. Crap, I think I just messed it up. Anyway, but don't worry about it. I just messed up the picture a bit, but I'm just going to go over here real quick. Here we go. Save as. Save as. Uh, save it as a JPEG for right now. So I'm just going to save this on a desktop and call it as Shadow Title. Test. Keep it as that. Alright, so we should have a picture right here. This is the example we're using right now. So, this is not the finished product yet because we still got to make it compatible. Another thing on a side note is that all pictures or all images, as, as I know so far, are um, in RPG Maker 2003 are red in 256 colors. 
Now, in order to convert this, we'll need IR fan view. I found a little help on the internet to show us how we can actually convert this. So we're going to take the shadow picture we just made, or your picture in your case. And what we're going to do is go to File, Save As. And we're going to save this at, well, drag the quality all the way up to good if you want a good picture. And save it as a GIF file. Now what this does is that it actually saves it in 256 colors somehow. I don't know how it does it, but it works. So we're just going to save that as a GIF and keep that as it is. And then we're going to close this out again. Whoa. Hold on, now I'll close it out. Now go to the shadow title again and look for the GIF image and put that in here. And now this should be open. It says point GIF right there. Alright, go back to file, go to save as, and this time we're going to save it as the PNG file, which is what RPG Maker needs. PNG, compression level, I don't know much about that, but just keep it as it is. Save that. And this one right here should be our finished one, so it should be the name of the title, 320 by 240 and a PNG image. So that should be your finished one. So all you got to do is just move for your project, go to RPG Maker, go to Resource Manager, Click the title, import, and go on a desktop. This is where my shadow title is, PNG, open. And now it should be added. So cancel, go to game, no, go to tools, database, uh, system, title screen area, set, and look for the one you made. Oops, wrong one. Here it is. Shadow title test. So there you go. You got Shadow the Hedgehog showing right there. Apply it. And just a small demonstration, I'm going to show it real quick. So I'll go to start. Do a start test. And as you can see, we got a custom, we got a custom title screen. So that's pretty much an example of how to really do it. The easy way I know so far. So. That's pretty much good.